Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Now, last episode I told you guys two things important to today. First thing was that we're going to make our guns actually hurt people. Secondly, I just got back from BloxCon, which was awesome. I'll be uploading a video about it later, but all that... You guys basically only asked for the main stage presentation, um, and I would, I'm not going to be uploading a video of that. Reason being, Roblox will be uploading basically the same thing, and there's a lot of spoilers that were at that event that I don't really want to give away just yet, since I know Roblox will be. But I will be giving a vlog of how it went. Alright. So, let's get to actual work here, I guess. So, go to the starter pack, as always. Go to our light, which is becoming more and more gun and less and less light, and go to firing. Alright, so right now what we're doing is we're creating the bullet, we're changing its form factor, its size, its color, its position, and its velocity. We're also adding a body force that keeps it in the air. Then we're putting the bullet into workspace and it's shooting itself off. And we can stop printing D now. Alright. So, next thing we need to do is make a script that makes it actually hurt people. Now, there's several ways we could do this. One, we could make a script and put it into the bullets. Or the way we're going to do it to make it a little... I would say better is we're going to make the bullet just controlled from here. So bullet that touched connect function hit. I almost forgot what I was doing there. Alright, bullet that touched connect function hit. So we've gone over this a million trillion times and we're going to continue going through this right now char equals hit that parent if game that players find first child ch or no not find first child get player from character char and char find first child humanoid then and I just noticed oh my goodness darn Roblox is doing it again one second, guys. Alrighty, we're back, and now the text is bigger, and hopefully you guys can see it. I don't really think I need to show you guys this line here too much, but there you go. Alright, then player equals game that players get player from character char. We'll change that to capital G so we don't get stupid output chatting at us. And then after we've done this player thing we're also just going to check char or if char dot health is greater than greater than zero then char dot human I guess we can't check their actual health we need to check their humanoids health so change that to char dot humanoid dot health or else we're gonna get an error Char that humanoid take damage. I have not shown you guys this function before. But the take damage function that's built into humanoids works just like if you directly change their health, like humanoid.health equals humanoid.health minus 20 or something. But the difference about this is we're. Ch we're if we use this function, then if they have a force field, if the character has a force field still, they won't get hurt. So, yeah, you could make your gun to where it went through force fields and still hurt people, but I don't want to do that. I want to make it to where if it hits somebody with a force field, it's not going to spawn kill them. So take damage, and we'll do math.random1020, somewhere in that range. And now we will press F7. Alright, there we go. Let's pull out our light. And uh, see if it actually works. We'll shoot him. 
Oh, yes! It does actually hurt him. There's another little problem that will take care of it just real quick. And we'll just do it right now. At least we know it's working, so that's always good. Alright, in this firing, once the bullet hits the player, the first time it actually rebounded and hit the player again. Well, yeah, you could do that if you wanted to, but what I'm going to do is no matter what, no matter what, bullet is the bullet's going to get removed from me. I'm just going to remove the bullet no matter what if it hits anything right now. Okay? So, now we already know it's going to hurt somebody. So let's just press F6 and just shoot anywhere and watch it disappear when it hits something. All right? It's loading. There we go. All right. Shoot here. There we go. See, it's disappearing now. So personally, I think this is a lot better than earlier just because now we're not going to spam our game with a ton of bullets lying around. All right. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button. Corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.